and here we are back at the good old bristol virginia walmart to begin yes another week of toy hunting oh another week has commenced let's go in here see what they got hunt time begins again new week what do we got gonna be new week same stuff or new week different stuff here on Ziman collects let's see uh, this dr godzilla and kong stuff that's for sure uh we got the godzilla show they got both the two packs there and then we've got the scar king i still need to get that one i need to get this one they had that one with the skin peeled off of like that godzilla to make that one i'm not getting that one have they got suko or the rest or all these godzilla evolved kong there's a scar king in the back there the battle war kong here was pretty cool i don't know if i'll get the other ones with the battle war feature though I do want to get all these eventually. I need him and I need him. And I want to get those. I want I can, these I'm keeping in box for whatever reason. I just want to keep them in box. But I want a better box than that. Just to be kind of picky. <laughs> uh, the big ones down there. Got our metal figs. They got Godzilla. Yep, there he is. So they got all four of those. That's pretty cool. Sorry guys, I really I enjoy those Godzilla and Kong figures for the price and they're actually not not bad. Still 40 bucks for the Pizza Fire van. I think it's $28 at the Johnson City Walmart. West Market Street, in case anybody's in that area. And they got our Fugglers. They don't have any rafts for Mikey's, do they? Nope. Just, oops. Oh man, I just made this thing mad. It's probably coming out of there on me. I like how they make it look like a pizza box. <laughs> That's cool. Oh, these are out of place. Oh, new ones, are they? I know Link's not. Oh man knocking everything off i put this stuff right to the edge of the pegs of course i shouldn't complain at least the pegs are full but man look at this they've really got a robust toy section this morning uh and sort of good go jitsus this little figure line here i don't much mind it but that carnage looks terrible is that how he looks down the comics does he not have the black lines all over him anymore because that picture there looks like it, but it didn't transfer over to that. That one's awesome. I picked him up a while back. Wouldn't mind to have the symbiote spider either. I saw him this weekend. Older legends up there. Yeah, old legend there, Terror Siren. There's the Infinity Saga stuff. We'll see which ones they got here in a second. We'll get done scanning the rest of the aisle. There's Spidey, Thor, Bruce Banner, Mark II. Mark 46 and caps. They don't have Black Widow. There's one more War Machine. They don't have War Machine. I think that's only two. I don't see. Uh, what else we got here still hanging over? We got Magneto, Magneto, MJ, and Tarantula. And Siren, Vulcan, and Dark One. So three of the Bone Breaker wave here. Uh, got these little guys. Thanos. They got a Hulk. There's a Hulk. We got Sam Wilson. I haven't seen Black Panther at Walmart. I've only seen Black Panther at Target. There's a Scarlet Spider. I'll take a picture of that. Cannot wait for the carded Marvel Legend of him. It's coming this year. I think it's going to be a couple months away. I don't really know the release date. Dinos. Don't know if this is new or not, guys. There's a little... That's kind of like E.T. Beast Lab. Oh, we got a Dark Knight of Steel. And a Jim Gordon regular back there. Hush, Batwing, and another Dark Knight of Steel. Okay, seeing the pictures of the Brainiac ship. I saw it on Facebook and people were saying it was a fake. I mean, is it real? Is it coming out? I feel, I don't know why they would put out the Brainiac ship before they would put out a Brainiac. Unless he's coming with it and it wasn't announced. Oh, we got our gold labels. Both of them sitting there right side by side. Let's take a look. Yep, see that right there is what I was talking about. In the last, I mean, it's not a big issue, but most of them I have found have looked like that. Uh, we got another Robin here. Let's just see. Yep, he's got it too. That's pretty cool, though. They do have the gold labels. I just want one while I don't have anything. And they got a bunch of Owl Man. There's another Robin. Let's just see if he... Eh, it's not as bad, but yeah, they all got it. 
And again, I'm not saying it's like a big problem. I just figured when I first saw it, it was something with the delivery to that one store I saw it at, but then I see all of them's got it around here. Um, those are older. Yeah, I see. Uh, none of the new ones up there. I need to find the, I want to find the new wave of superstars with Hogan and Andre and Doink. I have yet to see those. Lashley's Belair and Orton. So they don't have our Olympic hero. Uh, what else we got down here? Older ones of those. Rock Macho. Oh, the Macho Man's always cool to see. Ooh, this is a big old dude. Commander Azez. I have never heard of him. Hmm. Drew McIntyre. Anybody watched the Royal Rumble? I actually watched it. I'm not going to say who won. You know, most people probably know it by now. Just in case someone hasn't seen it. Only thing I will spoil, CM Punk didn't win. I was happy for that. I'm sorry, guys. I shouldn't be negative about stuff. I'm always one complaining that people are too negative. But I've never been a fan of CM Punk. Uh, Poppy Playtime, the Rainbow Friends stuff. I got here for green. There's a lab coat red. Bunzos. All right. Let's check out some die cast. We'll come back and get some photographs for thumbnail fodder here in a minute. Ooh, a stock card. What's on this? And check it out, Leon. It's sitting over here around the box. <laughs> Anything sitting over here? I don't see anything. All right. Let's see what we got in our die cast aisle this morning. This is a different. I don't think I've seen this before. A little pimped out one there. That's pretty cool. We got the Sweethearts cars. But the same stuff we've been on. Seeing things standing out is different. I like this little series. Ground pounders. Is that what they're all called? I don't know. Those are neat though. Oh, an old Torino. That's cool looking. That's uh, one of the Kings of Crunch. I don't want to try to. I think it's that same truck. I don't want to try to get that down. Because my luck, I'll knock it all over the place. Oh, look at the little doodle bug. <laughs> Her shifters. I actually like that one. I haven't seen that one before. Uh, I'm going to have to think about that one. What do we got here? Somebody let me know this was from Training Day. I've seen that movie, Denzel Washington, but man, I've only seen it once, and it's been a long time ago. Oh, what have we got over here? Oh, man. Tether Swift playing with the loudspeakers. We're to hurry and get out of here. That's one thing I dread with the Chiefs going to the Super Bowl. They're going to make it more about her than they will the team. Speaking of which, who what you, who y'all got in the Super Bowl? I think it's going to be the 49ers. Or the Chiefs going to win again. Be curious to see. I was kind of hoping the Lions would go. Series 33 in Detroit. I don't think they've they've ne never won a Super Bowl. I think this is the first season since like the 1950s they have won two playoff games in once in the same season. <laughs> Maybe next year, though, they had a good run. Packers can't go. I was hoping they would go. That's kind of cool. GT40. And they still got the enormous bin full of Legos. Legos. <laughs> Hot Wheels. You can see it right out there at the dollar eighteen price tag. But with all my rambling this morning, I think that's going to do it for this toy section. If I do see anything else, I will show it to you. If not, I'll either see you in collectors or at the next spot. Collector section. It looks pretty stocked, actually. I don't remember what was here last week and what wasn't, but I got a little collector's box for the Mandalorian. That's pretty cool. Uh, you got a Soul Crusher. I think that's what that thing's called. I don't know. Pennywise, Ash, Alf, Mummies and Hunchbacks, Bride of Frankenstein. Um, across the aisle over there. I'm not seeing anything I don't have over here. All those Funko sodas. Uh, Predator Q things. I still got some of the Foot Clan 4 packs for full price. They do have the little head bobbers down there. on Or head knockers, I'm sorry. On clearance, but they've only got Groot left. I've got Captain America, Iron Man, and Batman of those. They're actually pretty cool. 
There is Hell Shredders, regular Shredders, Gundam, Demon Slayer. Still got an Alf plushie. That's pretty cool. That's Freddy Krueger. Uh, nothing too exciting for Funkos. And what have we got over here? Alien. Yeah. I think that's going to do it for this one, guys. We're going to check clearance section. We do find anything else, I'll let you see it. If not, we'll see you somewhere a little bit later this morning. Ross. Let's head in here in Bristol, Virginia. Let's see what they got on this cold, rainy slash snowy, sunny day. All right, let's check up here by the register first. Well, I know it's not the sexiest restock, but they got Mario and Goombas. They didn't have those when I was in here on Friday. Uh, the Max Action here. They didn't have that either. <laughs> got a bunch of Dragon Balls here. I don't even begin to know anything about Dragon Balls. Dragon Ball Z. And they got Siren. Got three of her. And then we've got one Skelegod left. So yeah, we got a little bit of stuff here. But let's head back to the back and let's see what they might have back there. What do we got back here in the toy section? Uh, oh man, I got that Batmobile. That's only six bucks. Is that made for the 12 inch figures? That one broke. I'm gonna want to check that one behind it. This truck might be a pickup. I'm a sucker for these Spin Master Batmobiles, guys. I'm sorry. I know they're not the highest quality. For six bucks, man, it's gonna look cool sitting on a shelf. And I got some at a 12 inch Batman figure that would actually go in that. Uh, yeah, 12 inch figure. That's cool. Oh, they got some more Gundams too. I'm gonna take a picture of these for thumbnail fodder and a picture of the Batmobile. Yeah, pretty cool. Uh, what else we got here? Nothing else up here different was there. I don't know, was all these Gundams. I don't know crap about these Gundams. That's cool looking though. I will say that. Um, Yellow Power Ranger, Dilophosaur. Not seeing much else. You saw what they had up front. Well, those Halo guys up front, too. And back here. Anything stroll back here? Like maybe a random war machine? <laughs> I didn't figure, but hey, you don't know if you'll look. What's that Lego? Did I see that? And you don't know if you don't look, is what I said. I've been accused of mumbling lately. I gotta be careful of that. Can't offend the delicate sweethearts. Uh, all right, I think that's going to do it, guys. If I do see anything else, I'll show it to you before I leave here. But we're definitely going to have a pickup in one of these Batmobiles. Eh, Ross just broke my heart today. So let's run in here to Books of Me in Bristol, Virginia. This place hasn't restocked in quite a while, so they're due any day now. Let's go see if today is that day. Well, let's start here in the Turtles anime, whatever you want to call this little section. Not really seeing anything. Oh, yeah, they do see something different. They've got the foot bot. This is cool. Where can we put this so we can look at it? Let's put it up here. Last Ronin. Oh man, look at that. That looks awesome. That looks pretty sweet. How much is this thing here? This is the scary part. $35.99. Hmm. That's not a bad price for NECA. Hit NECA, you got 36 bucks. Hanger's a little messed up. They got two of them. Let's see, where was that at? There it is. Let's see if this hanger looks any better. It's stuck on the pegs. I'm going to doubt it. No, actually, it's in better shape. Oh, yeah, two of these babies. This is cool. Awesome find this morning. I think we're going to grab us a foot bot. Let's see what else we can find here. Well, that's, that was quick. We found us something good. Our first aisle went down. <laughs> take a look i couldn't get over to the mcfarland there were some people there but i don't see any collector's editions over there but we'll still take a look here we got our horror stuff uh, afc richmond ted lasso okay i don't know what that is <laughs> barbie light there is Cibrus or whatever 
House of the Dragons. Star Wars. What's his empire? A VHS journal. That is cool. What's my life? That's a journal. That is cool. Oh, that's made like an old VHS box. That's really cool. Don't need it, but... Um, Casey Jones, Ninja Turtles mug, Groot. Got the best action turtles. Oh, they got Raphael. Oh, that one's got a dorked up hanger. That one's got a curved one, but not bad shape. Let's take a look at Raph. Oh man, I'm about to make some choice. Oh man, that looks great. Let me guess, he's also 35, yep. Maybe a couple dollars more than Target, but I was thinking they weren't that expensive. I'm going to, have to think about these guys. I'm going to keep them with me. I don't know if I want to spend that much today. And this is the first time seeing them, so I assume I'm going to have to give you a close up there so I can get a hold of this thing. Oh. Sorry about that. I only got like, limited hands here. Killer Clowns, the Nine. Oh, it's sweet. I mean, it's not sweet about it. It's gonna be expensive. Okay, let's take a look at our McFarlane. There is Batman from Batman and Robin. They got anything else from that wave? Robin. So they got Batman and Robin. Nothing else different down through there. There's more Last Ronins. Kari and the Armored Ronin. Uh, more of the same stuff we've been seeing over here. Dune figures that nobody's buying. Uh, and what's on the back side? I didn't think I saw any collector's editions. They still haven't had a McFarlane restock in a while. So fingers crossed that comes pretty soon. I also hope my audio is doing all right because I'm using a headset. I wear this thing for work, and be quite honest, I forgot to take it off when I got out of the truck. And let's just see what's back here, guys. I'm not seeing a whole lot other, but they got some Ronin scores this morning. There is Croc Master. He is still $45 here. And look at that. The box is all beat up. Still got a Barbarian Batman. Well, hey, they got Willie Nelson. I'll take a picture. I'll have to put these things down. I'll turn the camera off. I got a picture of Willie for the thumbnail. Let's take a real quick look at Pops. Paz Vizsla, the Armorer. Those look new as well. And what we got over here, we'll scan this really quick. Back to the Future, anything. Let's set these down. I know there is a crow I've seen online, but I have yet to see it in person. We might have the crow figure. That's a cool poison ivy. Prince John from Robin Hood. All right, guys. I think that is going to do it for Books of Me. And if I do see anything else, I'll let you see it. Oh, wait a minute. I didn't even look at the Marvel Legends, did I? Sorry, guys. I'm getting excited. That is expensive, but I do enjoy them. They have some X-Men 97s there. Wolverine. Storm and Magneto. Wolverine usually not last very long in my area. Is why I sounded so excited. Makes me wonder when they got him. Uh, yeah, I'm not seeing much. Okay, well, that's going to do it for Books of Million, guys. I do find anything else, I'll show it to you. If not, we'll see you at the next. Did not get to record an intro coming in, but we are in Target in Bristol, Virginia. We're going to head back there to that collector spot first, and we'll see what they got. We're starting out actually over here in this little side section by the collectors to see if there's anything different. That's cool looking. They still got Kordax, Aquaman, and still see Aquaman hanging out over here. Aladdin, Jurassic Park. Okay. Just want to see if they might have added any clearance or anything over here. And they haven't. So let's truck it down now here to the collector's area. And let's see what they got for us today. Uh, anime. SH figure art stuff. Ultimate Warrior. He's out of place. Superman and Justice. They still got all these Batman. These are not moving, guys. These have been here forever. There's a Wonder. I gotta look and see what the price of neck is here to see if I got ripped off really bad at Books a Million because it's full of the hog portion. I did get maybe one, maybe both of those last Ronin figures I found. That's been here forever. Nobody wants that platinum anymore, apparently. Or like me. Well, not like me. I've already got that. But they're waiting to, for the clearance to hit. 
that hawk man in my opinion that right there is the nicest one of those i have gotten so far i think wonder woman though is going to take that spot whenever she comes out so i got a casey joan mask got one of the little godzilla blind boxes left it's kind of them i have that 1954 godzilla that i left at kingsport target but it's not here nothing new looks like in um reactions or best or all subjects i cannot remember what that's called old age guys it's a five letter word beginning with b sometimes as far as your memory goes oh mandalorian the starfighter down there that's kind of cool don't know if that's new or not we took a picture of it all right they still got tony superman i kind of hope there's a vincent price still here Ghostface, Sam, Sam, Ghostface. Uh, they sold Vince, it looks like. That was cool, pot, a cool Tooney comic thing or whatever, Tooney Terror. I should have got that when I picked up Superman. They still got him. I gotta say, I enjoy this little Tooney comics line. You got Joker and Superman so far. I'm curious to see who they come up with next. There is uh, Ghostface. Cornholio, that's a good picture for a thumbnail. Halloween 2, who's that hanging back there? That's Ghostface, and they got two Toonie Comics Superman. Well, we missed out on events at Price the first time, but those Toonie Terrors should come back around pretty good. I don't see anything else new really in the NECA here. Uh, there's not a price either. Hmm, I want to scan one of these, see how much they are. Like I said, I just don't want to feel like I really overpaid for whatever I got at Books A Million. They're $32 after my discount. Or it was whichever one I got without spoiling the haul. But anyways, we're going to go over and scan one of these. And then I'm going to check out the toys. Let's start out here in wrestling. Look at this. All this stuff's on sale. Iron Sheik's already down $345 but still. Ultimate Warrior's down 5 bucks almost. $28.04. That's pretty cool. Hogan here is 1954. It's the only one they got. I thought about getting that wave. And you got 1954 on his brand new set that just came out, so. Let's take a picture of them with the cell tags, and that'd be something for thumbnail fodder, won't it? Yeah. Um, I got some Star Wars down there on sale as well. Looks like all this stuff. That's the only Black Series figure. They go on, they got Chrysanthemum. Oh, here's some, okay. They got Lando and Ezra and um, Cindela. Oh man, our man marked down pretty good, eight dollars eighty cents. Those turtle nano figures. I don't know if I, I kind of want those, but there's a Spider-Man set. I don't know if they got it, but over the action figure out yet. But I would definitely buy that one. It sells some bunch of Jurassic Park stuff too, but we'll get to that in a second. I've seen a lot of people already seeing, or not already, but seeing this on clearance in their stores. It's not marked here. Neither are the retros. So I'm going to scan some of those. I mean, do I really need them? No, but they're on clearance, like five bucks. I'll probably pick up Mondo and Ray. And again, you can see here all the dinos. Let's take pictures of all these cell tags. Triceratops looks pretty cool. He could be thumbnail fire. What else they got? I got the Regal. I saw the Regal thing. And, wasn't that a Target? Or a, what's it called? Ross? <laughs> the Irritator. That's a cool name. Uh, just you know, for tomorrow, the plane will be... Mm, they got uh, Owen Grady. What else they got back there? Down the tron. Oh, that guy said tomorrow the plan is to do something in toys. We'll definitely be back here tomorrow. Check it out as well. All right, let's head over to the action figure. I hope we can just walk straight over. If not, I got quiet there for a second in case I got to cut this part out. <laughs> Nobody's here. We're good. What we got? Spider-Man mask, Wolverine gloves. Something was on sale. Marvel Well Pods Nano minifigure. Buy one get one half off. It's not bad. Captain America. We got our Mark Forty Six. Cap and Spidey. And then Mark Twos. Still not seen War Machine. Not seen uh, Thor or Black Widow or Bruce Banner at Target. Only those four. Oh, here's the Spider-Man nano, nano set. I would like to grab this eventually. 
not going to grab it today though the only thing i got to say about this i mean look at hobgoblin that's awesome there's no venom i mean it's still cool set don't get me wrong but how can you not have venom let's put it behind that little bracket thing so we don't mess it up uh speaking of venom there he is i don't think they have that green one up here do they Which, oh there he is they got him there's those um these they don't have the single ones do they sell all those that's i don't mean to sound shocked but well, there are the others behind the Hulk. I got all the Hulk and Thanoses are gone. They're Thanos or however you say that. Uh, there's the two pack anti monitor. I need to get anti monitor. Just hoping I'm long gaming him. If I can't get him at a discounted price, I don't really think I want him. I don't want him for 40 bucks, put it that way. Ratchet. This is little new guys. Megatron. Tasmania Kid. I think they are. I'm not really sure. I'm not taking any pictures though. I've got to have that thumbnail fodder. Right, what's behind us here? Donkey Kong. He can be a perennial thumbnail picture because that's an awesome figure. Got some sale here on some of the video game stuff too. Minecraft. Was that just the Minecraft actually? Rainbow Friends stuff. That look cool for a thumbnail. Puppy Playtime. And Pokemon. Got some few little Pokemon cards back here. Alright, now we're going to walk over to Diecast. Actually, take a look at this end cap here. Check out what they got back here. Oh, these Dino. That's a lot of irritators right there. There's rows of these things. Can you say Clearance? Or can you say Ross? Or Burlington, they have a lot of dinosaurs as well. I don't see anything else on the end caps down through there. Ooh. Didn't realize somebody's standing back there. There's a clearance end cap. Let's see what's on it. Uh, the clearance section there they took down. What do we got here? They got that little trestle ones at Ross right now. 4550 here. I don't know what it was at Ross. Uh, nothing really worth a crap. Well, I don't mean to sound negative like that. Some things other people might be interested in, but the man collects is not currently seeking any of those items. There. Politically correct. What do we got here? They haven't stocked back here in quite a while. The tech deck stuff is on clearance. Or at least that was. Hot Wheels. Uh, some kind of track set down there was on clearance as well. I got that pink... Fast and the Furious car. I'm not going to try to dig it out. I'm not going to take a picture of it either. It's the top of it. This I wouldn't mind to have. The Tumblr. There's that Hulk truck down there. That little Hulk figure comes with that. Looks pretty cool. Got a sale on some Monster Jams. I wonder if all of them are on sale. These aren't marked though. Just that one peg. The $5.99 ones. Was $3.59. That'd be $0.50. Cents off. Ooh, I wrecked one. I'll pick that up right here in a second. Let's just make sure there's no 33s. Uh, there's a 33, but it's that same zombie truck they've had. All right. Let's hang him back up there. And what else do we have on the wine world of diecast? Uh, I got some Star Wars ships. No chases, unfortunately. And then... Our Hot Wheels, that's cool looking, the Mega Blocks thing. Custom small block. <laughs> you gotta appreciate some well-placed wit on our Hot Wheels names. Uh, five packs, nothing really jumping out at me and saying hello. Actually, I take that back, that's pretty cool. Dino Hunter. Hmm. All right, let's pop out here in the aisle way. Take a look at some end caps. You know, this Target never got the Midnighter, never got um, Wave Rider, yeah, Mid Midnighter and Wave Rider. Never got either one of those Target exclusives. That's what made me nervous about Red Tornado and um, Animal Man. Of course, Animal Man I did buy, but I wasn't sure I wanted him. I definitely wanted Red Tornado, which I need to quit going on about him. I found him. But still, there's a Lego wing cap. And let's stroll the Lego aisle. There's some Orlando's. Some Chrysanthemum and Tuscan Warrior. Oh, I think I forgot to mention. I scanned the uh, NECA. NECA is $35 or $34.99 here. So it's $35.99 at Books of Million with the discounts. 
I probably got a little bit cheaper at Books A Million because we've got 5% off of here. I got, I think, more than that off of Books A Million. I don't know. But anyways, made me feel a little bit better about buying one or two NECA figures at Books A Million. But I don't see any. Here's some clearance there on some Mega Blocks. What is that one? All the vehicles are already gone. Muscle Bell. I got him for that 50% off a while back, actually. Uh, anything over here on sale? I got the Spider-Man helmet again. I will probably... Oh, man. I say that's $60. I, I still may end up getting that one of these days. I kind of like it. If I ever get a gift card or have some reward, circle reward or something. But anyways, guys, that's going to do it for Target. If I do see anything else, I'll let you see it. If I don't, then I'm going to see you at the next one. Ross and Johnson City. we got to hurry and get in here because one of the local scalpers just pulled in behind me. So let's run and get in here and see if we can beat them to the good stuff. Let's see what they got. One thing, they got this reboot van. That was kind of cool. $17. Fix it back. Photo op. Not anything I'd be interested in, but it's kind of cool looking. Oh, they got one of the... Eh, here's a red top. I saw that one at the Elizabeth and Ross over the weekend. But I ended up not using that footage because I didn't really find anything else. <laughs> uh, Pegwall's looking a little depressing. They got those Gundam purple things there they had at Bristol. And over here behind me, we got some Pokemon cards, still a bunch of Lolas, and a one-armed Raptor. Transformers... Ambulances. Couldn't feel it by the front, it was by the registers. They moved them and now it's like right in the way of the register. <laughs> but they didn't have anything up there we haven't seen before. Nothing exciting. They got a couple of Batmobiles. So pretty much they have the same new stuff that Bristol got. And there's dinos, Gigantosaurus and Dilophosaurus. Uh, more Gundam down here. I think they had these when I was in here over the weekend. I don't remember. Some flash. All kinds of little Magnix dinosaurs there. But that's going to do it, guys. If I see anything else, I'll show it to you. If not, see you at the next one. Alright, the old home base Walmart. Huh, these are still here. I put those there Saturday when I was here. The variant and the original. And I think the light green is the original. I think T3 told me that. I don't recall. A bunch of Eddie Kingsons. I wonder if he's on clearance yet. Uh, dinosaurs. Not dinosaurs. What are these called? Transformers. Oh my lord. Well, technically they are kind of dinosaurs, so that counts. That's the probably I saw down there and triggered that. Um, Air Razor. Razor, guys. Let me know. Is he a good one? I'm asking because I can't say why. I guess I'm watching this video, but there is an upcoming gift, little small little gift giving holiday. And I had some Transformers fans in my life. I'm trying to think of something. Well, Kelly and I both are trying to think of something to get them. Speaking of Kelly, she's with me. She's down the aisle. She doesn't want to be on camera, so she took off. Holy crap, they got Spider-Man. Uh, oh, their cards are messed up. That sucks. But look, we've got Andrew Garfield. There's Toby. There's Tom Holland. I got the whole way the Spider-Man No Way Home. <laughs> That's cool. I got pictures of that. I may have to turn the camera off and photograph those real quick because there are some people down the aisle as well. Just trying to step back. They don't have Vampire Robin out yet. Realistic size. I'm, I saw some places are putting some legends on clearance. Who they got here? You don't really have any I would want. We're going to scan. I don't think the Spider-Man are going to be. We'll scan the rows. But it's cool seeing the No Way Home Wave. I know the cards are messed up. But still cool seeing the wave again. Uh, a bunch of superpowers. Those are old. I got the place on the shelf still for Damien and Owlman. But they're not here yet. I think February 1st is the official release date of those. Somebody told me. I don't remember who. Maybe I dreamed it. But. Maybe we'll see them there after 1st of February. Here's a cyborg. And they've got him on the pegged in a way that you can't hardly... Huh, well, anyways, there he is. Nah, you don't have to worry about it. I just want to put it on camera. 
Cyborg's not one you see all that much. Or I don't anyways, but... They got the new 5 PLA Star Wars. I saw somebody find Darth Vader. There's Mando. We'll take his picture. Let's see. I'm forgetting all about the stuff behind me over here. They stocked any of this. There's Kamek. Kamek's cool. I got him on my desk out in the man cave. <laughs> Pokemon stuff, Hoppy Playtime, Rainbow Friends, nothing different on that front. I wish they put the Robin figures out. I'm curious to see if the ones they get are, the boxes are messed up like the others. Oh, they got the new wrestling wave down here too. Some more restocks in the world of WWE, or uh, Walmart. Man, that was confusing. I haven't seen Paul that much. That's not the variant. Jimmy, Sami Zayn. Okay, I don't have any more pallbearers. That sucks. What? Watch old man. <laughs> you gotta love the macho man. She's looking at some plushies over here. Uh, that's cool seeing Paul Bear. Everyone take his picture. That won't last long. Every time I've ever found Paul Bear, he's usually not there in the morning of the day. I'm tempted to buy a Paul Bear, but honestly, but I don't think I'm going to. What are these? 23 bucks? Yeah. I can skip it. This is the store. There should be one of him in the record somewhere where he doesn't have that belt. Somebody uh, took him off the bubble there and stole the belt out. Some stores got all them things on clearance. There's some new ones is out. Hulk Hogan, Andre the Giant, and Doink the Clown. I like to find those. I like to have Andre and Doink. There's Mr. Perfect, and there's the Beltless Perfect that her and I were just discussing. There's the Macho Man she was looking at. <laughs> All right, everybody. I think that's going to do it for the action figures. We're going to check out some diecast, and we'll see you then, if they have anything. Diecast. I don't ever understand why the Postal Service has all these classic cards. Like maybe classic stamps they had or something. I don't know. That was kind of cool looking. Coca Cola funny car. Like a, that's a Camaro. I was going to say a Mustang, but I didn't say that. <sighs> I think it's pretty cool too. Dodge Adventurer. A 750 chase pieces. Man, that'd be cool to find a chase of that thing. Only 750 of them. Edelbrock. Uh, all red tops on the Star Wars. One day we're going to find us a chase of those things. And it's going to be awesome. I was trying to do one more short on the Spider Man figures. Just because, you know, they've. My best viewed short for a while, but man, there's a scalper over there that jumped on those. He was on eBay listing all the fugglers they had, so I guess he's buying all those too. And he was dying to get his hands on the Spider Man figures. He'll be sad though when he sees the cards are all messed up. Peacock? You want the peacock? <laughs> Kelly's looking at some Lego sets. Kind of hoping this shell truck I haven't seen before. Chevrolet Cheyenne, Cheyenne, Chevrolet Cheyenne. That's pretty nice. That's a bulky piece of metal right there too. There's all this. Uh, hoping to find the major bruiser. I'm with to have him. They got some nice cars though. That Cuda there is nice too. Oh, here we go. What I've always needed. A Vin Diesel nano metal, metal figure <laughs> well we gotta take a picture of me in with his car here there we go oops oh Ford band's kind of nice um i don't have dark knight returns tank this one more has finally restocked a little bit though that's nice uh, i don't see anything too different in lego you not get the peacock? You not get you a peacock? Oh, you did get him. <laughs> you have to have the insects now to go with the peacock. You have to feed it. Do you? Peacocks eat insects? I have no idea. I thought most birds do. I don't know. She's the bird expert, not me. I forgot to look at. I uh, forgot to look at monster trucks. Sorry, guys. A little hyper. My day's winding down. I'm starting to get tired. 
Uh, well, they don't have a lot of stock of love have Hot Wheels, so that's one thing they ain't got a lot of. But we are going to cut this one off. That's it for the toy section. I'll go check out clearance. We find anything there, and I'll show it to you. Or the collectors as well. But if we don't, we'll see you at the next one. Welcome back everyone to the YouTube channel that's that much more exciting than watching Paint Dry The Man Collects. My name is Chris, I am The Man Collects, and as I always do at this juncture, I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me here on YouTube for another toy hunting adventure. If you haven't done so already, be sure to tap that little like button if you have enjoyed the content. Let YouTube know I'm doing a eh, somewhat adequate job. Before we get to the hunt, we're going to do a plug for Undisputed. Part 4. T3 Collects. I've got the link to his channel in the description of this video. Be sure to check out Carlos' channel. Give him a sub. Check out his content. His next Undisputed live stream will be February 13th, 2024 at 9pm Eastern Standard Time. And he has invited me to be back again, a guest on Undisputed. And not only I will be on there, but T3 will be on there, of course, as his channel. Um, hey Archer from Nerd Affiliated, Yukon Feel, EC Collecting, Millennium Workshop, Collecting Havoc, Collect to Disconnect, and JB's Toy Trunk. I'm looking forward to this one, guys. So check us out on T3 Collects channel, February 13th, 2024 at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Once again, link to T3's channel, description of this video. Check it out. Now, let's get into the toy hunt. Let's wrap this up. Let's start with store the hunt what was store the hunt of this video not going to list all the stores i was in you saw it in the video but store the hunt for me was walmart in greenville tennessee just because that store has been down been a little slow last little while well they finally got a good restock of stuff and i'm going to give them store the hunt because i feel they need a little boost and let's put some positive vibes out there that my home base walmart starts getting some more stuff but uh, they had the no way home wave the cards were damaged, I know, but they had the three Spider-Men, Garfield, Holland, and McGuire, and then Sandman, MJ, and uh, Matt Murdock to round out the wave. Uh, that wave is starting to trickle down in my area. I'm starting to see more of the Infinity Saga Legends than I am anything with No Way Home. Didn't expect to see the whole wave again. It was cool to see it at least one more time. But they also had Mutant Mayhem, the Genghis Frog, the dark color green, and the light color green version. So they had the regular and the chase. Again, I don't know which is the regular. I don't know which is the variant. But again, they had both of them there. It was cool to see that. Uh, the Fugglers. They had Leonardo and Donatello Fugglers in there. The only sad thing with those, there was a reseller in there while I was there. But he was there. He was actually on his eBay account in the store adding the things for sale on ebay then once he got them all posted he scooped them put them in the buggy and took off but I, I know there's no limit i know anybody can go in there and buy what they want i get that but still you're going to take all those stuffed animals that are actually affordable off the shelf to go try to scalp them and turn a buck on them i mean that, I, that gets on my nerves i shouldn't complain about that but i can't help it but one good note they had restocked and they had plenty of leos and plenty of donatello fuggers at that walmart tonight when i went back in there so ha ha scalper you know they're still available at retail price here in greenville uh, what else do they have there? Oh, the five points of articulation Mandalorian figure. That little, I guess, three or four inch figure, whatever it is. I'm not interested in buying that line, but they look really good, I think, for what they are. Especially Mando with the shiny silver armor and all that. But it was cool to see that there at that Walmart. Um, Darth Vader is also dropping in that wave. I haven't seen it yet, but looking forward to seeing that. It looks pretty cool from the pictures I've seen. What else do we have? Oh, the thing that put this store over the top for Store of the Hunt, and that's why I saved it for last to talk about, Paul Bearer, WWE Elite, a huge, huge Undertaker fan, huge fan of, the, of him and Paul Bearer from back in the 90s, you know, when he was all, yeah, with the urn and all that stuff. Big fan of that. And then when he turned heel, when Kane came around at Bad Blood, I think it was 97 or 98, during the first Hell in a Cell match between uh, Shawn Michaels and The Undertaker, and Kane comes in, then eventually, you know, Paul Bear turns against The Undertaker and sides with Kane. And that's when the variant figure of that, the chase figure of Paul Bear, looks like he done when he sided with Kane during that little heel run. So it was cool to see the the regular one there. Haven't seen the chase yet, but again, loved that character, both iterations of him. And that was cool to see there in that Walmart. That made it Store of the Hunt. Now, we got Store of the Hunt covered. Right there, top three. What were the top three coolest things I saw on this toy hunt? Number three, I just talked about him. 
Paul Bearer, WWE Elite. That's a great looking figure. It's a great likeness to him. The one I haven't seen the variant to see what it looks like if it's if it resembles him really in his, his later part of his career. But the one with the black eyes and the pasty face that looks really good. It was cool to see that. I've already talked about it, but it was number three. I'm not going to ramble on it again. But uh, that's an awesome looking figure. And I got a little bit of collector's regret for not picking that up. I'm going to have to grab that one of these times and quit passing on him. Number two. Number two is once again my way of getting more than three things into the top three. Because number two is that No Way Home wave from uh, Marvel Legends Spider-Man. Man, I got confused there. Anyways, I had the entire wave there. Didn't think I would see the whole wave in stores again. The way it's kind of dwindling down here. But really cool to see all three Spider-Men again. Plus MJ, Matt Murdock, and Sandman. I went back and forth on what to make number two here. I was going to actually let it be the... Um, the gold labels I saw at Walmart, the Robin and Owl Man, those are starting to kind of hit everywhere. No Way Home again, they're starting to kind of go off shell. So I wanted to give it one more mention in the top three. So that's why I picked it over the DC Multiverse Gold labels. But again, the No Way Home wave takes the number two spot in the top three for this video. Now, let's not get tongue-tied and have brain farts anymore because we're on number one. You can't drop the ball when you're talking about the number one coolest thing I saw on the toy hunt. And the number one thing is another way of getting more than three things in the top three because number one consists of two figures. Books of Million in Bristol, Virginia, I found the latest two NECA Last Ronin figures. We found the Footbot and we found Raphael. Those things look really cool. Um, I knew they were, they were out for order. I know that. I didn't know they were showing up in stores yet. I hadn't personally had not seen anybody finding them in store, but... Again, unexpected finds is what makes this hobby fun. Didn't expect to see them. Saw them both in the same Books A Million. And Books A Million, usually on their pricing, they get up above retail. They were only a dollar more per figure than Target sells their NECA for. So I'm okay with that. By the time I use the Millionaire Club discount thing, it actually gets it down. If they were around $32 a figure, I did pick both of those up. But we had Raphael, the Footbot, they both looked great. Didn't expect to find them. Huge Last Ronin fans, so that made them the number one coolest thing I saw on this toy hunt. All right, let's get into it. The haul. What did I buy? The toy haul. Well, if you watched my last video and some previous ones, you know I'm in this one as well. You know I'm really digging the Godzilla and Kong New Empire figures. As far as that little ten dollar line, I had them all but two. I had them all, but but I did not have. The Scar Kings, we did pick him up from the Bristol, Virginia Walmart to make me a little bit closer to having the whole wave, but hold on, I needed him plus one more. So, oh, we got Godzilla Evolve. Now I've got the entire wave. We'll put Godzilla down here for a second. And there is your wave on that for anybody wondering. I do have all these figures. Guys, for the price points, I've been giving Playmates all kinds of shout outs for the quality of these figures and for under 10, well, you know, they're 997, 998, but still they're under 10 bucks. These things look great. Um, like I said, I can't recommend them high, highly enough. I've taken all these out of the box. They're on a shelf over there. They're, they're posable. We can do cool stuff with them. Really, it's, it's, it's nice to see a toy company kind of price things reasonably and not put stupid, ridiculous prices on them. So, once again, recommend these figures. And now we got the entire wave of the $10 figures for Godzilla and Kong. Looking forward to that movie. Hope it's good. Now, my next pickup, we got... An old school Hulk Hogan. Why do we get this? It's on sale. Um, Target right now for nineteen fifty four. Really enjoy uh, this this line. I'm, I'm I want I've been going back and forth on getting these. I'm hoping I can find the others. I actually need all three of these. I've got Chase Andre. I need the the regular the yellow tights Andre. And then Shiki Baby and Jimmy Hart. But I'd like to pick up this entire line eventually. Not going to go down a rabbit hole and start buying all kinds of wrestling figures. But when they do have ones I like, I do pick them up. And I do enjoy this wave of them. So I'm going to try to find the others as well before they go off sale. And if I do miss them, maybe we'll catch them on a clearance. Who knows? Next thing I got was actually a pickup from Ross. And we haven't had a lot of Ross pickups lately, but... I did pick up that Spin Master, you know, $6 Batmobile. This is made to fit the 12-inch Spin Master figures. Um, as far as being highly, highly detailed and having, I mean, it's got plastic wheels. It doesn't shoot missiles or anything, but it looks cool, I think. Plus, I've got a couple of those 12-inch Batman figures, and I'm going to put one of them in there and then set this over on the shelf with my other Batmobiles. But I'm a sucker for Batmobiles. I like these Spin Master ones. They're affordable. They're cool-looking. 
And we got, got this to add to our Batmobile collection. Last two pickups, you already heard me talking about them. We got Raphael, and we got the Footbot here from the last Ronin. And I will try to show these to you. Uh, there's the back of the box on Raph for what it looks like. With the glare of my computer screen and my ring lights, I don't know how good you'll be able to see them, but you look at the inside flap of the box there. Get that ring light off of it. That's what the figure looks like. He comes with some great accessories. Um, this one looks great, guys. He almost looks better than the actual last Ronin figure, I think. But really happy with this Raphael figure and looking forward to what else they put out in the last Ronin line here in these NECA figures. And then our footbot. We'll try to take a look at him real quick before we sign off. Trying to get the glare there. You got a pretty good shot of him. And there he's the inside flap of the box. But again, grab both of these from Books a Million. And there we go. That is it. That is the Toy Hunt. Hope you enjoyed it. Social media and where to find the man collects. Instagram. Description of this video. About page on YouTube has my link to Instagram. The splash here on the front will show you what to type in to find me if you don't want to click on the links. But check me out on Instagram and give me a follow and see what I post on there. The last form of social media for myself is this YouTube channel, The Man Collects. So if you are a first time viewer, you've come back several times, have yet to click subscribe. Be sure to click subscribe to the channel and see what comes down the pipe here on the channel. Guys, we're at the middle of the week. We're moving towards the weekend. Hope everybody's week is going great. And until the Friday video, The Man Collects is out of here.